Hello, welcome back to Harry Has a Cocktail, episode 44. Today, the revolver. Pew, pew, pew. I don't really particularly like bringing you drinks named after firearms, but this looked like a really interesting cocktail in my The Three Ingredient Cocktail Book by Robert Simonson. And this is also sort of continuing what seems like a three episode series of bourbon drinks. This drink was invented by a San Francisco bartender named John Santer in 2004. It was actually created by him in response to Bullet Bourbon, more or less. And that was around the time that Bullet Bourbon first hit the market. So he created this drink, The Revolver. It's very quick, easy to make, three ingredients. Here we go. First, we have bourbon. Next, we have coffee liqueur. Now, this isn't really something I've used very much here on the program. I found this at my local liquor store, Sabroso. Sabroso? I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. The temple pyramids of Mexico stand as symbols of ancient power. Built before 700 AD, they serve as reminders of Mexico's rich heritage. Today, they share the hot Mexican sun with coffee trees that yield Sabroso coffee liqueur. We also have orange bitters, and we're going to garnish it with a flamed orange peel hence the matches. And we're going to make it in a mixing glass. All right, let's go ahead and make the revolver. First, to your mixing glass, add a crap ton of ice. First, we're going to add two ounces of bourbon. One, two. Next, we are going to add half an ounce of coffee liqueur. Half. And finally, two dashes of orange bitters. One, two. I think I might have missed the glass on that last one, so I'm gonna put one more. Three. Now we're going to stir it until it's ice cold, about 30 seconds. Okay, now we are going to strain it into a chilled coupe glass. Ooh, 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 it's so chilly. Next, we are going to garnish it with a flamed orange. Flamed. You're going to, let's do it down here. You're going to take this orange, and you're going to stick it where the sun doesn't shine. No. It says to cut about a half dollar size of a peel from the outside of it. About like that. And now, you're going to take your matches, or, you know, a lighter, or whatever you have to create flame. And you're going to sort of warm the outside, the outside of that, and then you're going to squeeze it right next to the orange peel. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> and what that does is it kind of showers the drink with a bunch of the oils from the liqueur. And then you drop it in. Okay, let's try the revolver. Mmm, it's really good. It's kind of a really good, wonderful, simple drink. As opposed to the Fauntleroy, which I made last week, which had six ingredients, this only has three simple ingredients and is just a two and a half ounce drink. But it is primarily just bourbon in here. Two ounces of bourbon, so this'll, this'll get me a little toasty. It's really nice and lovely. You know, part of me wants more of the coffee liqueur in here, to be perfectly honest. So go ahead and experiment with this whenever you make it. I don't really taste a whole lot of the coffee liqueur in here. I mostly taste the bourbon. So I'm wondering, you know what? I'm gonna put it back in and see what happens. I'm just gonna pour it right back in just as an experiment. And I'm going to add another half ounce, which makes one ounce in total. Extra half ounce, which makes one ounce total. Straining again. Flaming again. I don't know, some people might say I'm always flaming, but I'll leave that for you to decide. Besides, it'll be kind of fun to give you another look at, at what's happening. I'll try to put this in like super slow motion. Maybe we can see the oils bursting out over the drink. Release the oils. Ready? <laughs> okay, let's see what it's like with an extra half ounce of the coffee liqueur. Yeah, yeah, gotta say. And you know me, if you watch the show enough, you know I'm not a big fan of sweet drinks. Adding that extra half ounce of this does not make this sweet. I mean, it makes it a little bit sweeter, but it doesn't make it sweet. There's still plenty of a strong bourbon taste in there. I'm getting a really, really nice, like, orangey feel. Normally, is orange and coffee a thing? I don't really know that orange and coffee is a thing, but I kind of, it's really kind of lovely in here. This would be something really good to have, like if you're sick of just having your bourbon neat, if you happen to be a neat bourbon drinker, you're so neat, then hey, add a little bit of coffee liqueur, mix it around, maybe a couple of dashes of orange bitters. This would go just as well over, over ice. Could easily have this just on the rocks, you know, and just sip it the whole night. That's my advice, my bartenderly advice. Well, that's it. A quick one for you today. It's a little early in the day anyway for me to be making a cocktail, so I thought maybe I would, um, you know, just do something a little short and sweet. The Revolver. <laughs> Thanks as always for watching Harry as a Cocktail, and we'll see you back here next time. Cheers.